my darlings, how are you doing today on this second day of the 13 days of Halloween? I am bringing you some Mina Harker realness from Bram Stoker's Dracula. This is the scene right when she gets bit by Count Dracula. So if you'd like to see how I did this, then let's do this. First, I'm taking the Makeup Forever Ultra HD stick in 100 Y215 and Y225, and I am contouring my face. To deepen the contours, I am going in with the Endless Cacao Artist Color Pencil from Makeup Forever. I really like this pencil. It's super creamy, and I can get really detailed with the contours. Obviously, I have a similar face shape to Winona Ryder, but mine isn't as skinny as hers was in the 90s, so I am contouring to match. Your face shape is probably different than mine, so contour appropriately and you get something kind of cool. Um, then I'm going in again with the contour shade just to deepen up certain areas, like the hollows of my cheeks and the temples. Now I'm taking Blondie, the multi-stick from Bite Beauty, and a stippling sponge, and I'm starting to bring color back in my face. Just build it up, build it up, build it up. Keep in mind that this makeup is kind of a no makeup makeup, glamorous, lying in bed thing. Now I'm taking Y100, which is the white Ultra HD foundation from Makeup Forever, and I am spot highlighting with that. It's very subtle, but it adds some dimension. Now I'm priming my eyes off camera with the Fix Primer Potion from Urban Decay. And then I'm going in with the Milk Makeup Blur Setting Powder and I'm setting my entire face. Be sure to rub away any under eye creases before you set it with powder, otherwise you'll set those creases. So my skin's kind of been through the ringer with this 13 days of Halloween, so I've got a really interesting dry patch on my nose. It's semi-noticeable, so uh, yeah. First, I'm taking Blur from Melt Cosmetics on a big old fluffy brush, and I'm putting that all over my lid space, almost all the way to the brow bone. Now I'm taking a C-shaped paddle brush that's kind of fluffy and deepening the crease, and then I'm going in with Milk Makeup's Unseen Eyeshadow on that same brush and putting that all over my mobile lid area. And a little bit on the lower lash line and blending into the crease to make sure that everything is nice and seamless and seamless and smooth. Now I'm taking the Makeup Forever Artist Pencil in Dimensional Dark Brown and I am dotting along my lash line. I'm not drawing a line, but I'm just trying to give the effect of fuller lashes without being like, oh my gosh, you have liner on. To set that, I'm going in with Rot, also from Melt Cosmetics, and I'm just stamping that in between the sparser areas of my lashes. And off camera, I am lining my waterline with Melt Cosmetics Gel Liner in BCC, which is just a beige eyeliner color. I'm doing my brows off camera, and now I'm doing a little bit of contour with powder. This is Assimilate from Melt Cosmetics. It's an eyeshadow, but it's a beautiful gray-toned eyeshadow that is great for contouring if you're really, really pale. It's just a really nice, cool tone shade. Once I've brought the contour up as much as I'd like to using the eyeshadow, I'm going to do my lashes off camera. I'm using the Milk Makeup Kush Mascara. And then once the eyes are done, it's time to move on to the lips. I'm using the Makeup Forever Artist Pencil in Full Scale Rust and just filling in my lips. Once I've filled in my lips, I'm taking my finger and blurring the edges slightly to give the appearance of a slightly plumper lip. After that, I'm taking Fenty Beauty's Gloss Balm in Universal just to give the lips a little bit of shine. I wanted to add a little bit more color, so I'm taking the Melt Cosmetics blushes in Cali Dream and Honey Thief and applying them with a powder brush to the apples of my cheeks and a little bit on my nose to give a little bit of flush. Now that her no makeup makeup is essentially done, it's time for a wig. I got this one from Amazon, I'll have it linked below. And if you're wearing this for a long time, you're gonna wanna glue this down. But since I'm doing this for the tutorial, time for the blood, 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 blood. So you wanted to secure your hair up and wherever you're going to glue down your silicone vampire bite prosthetics. I made these and I cast them in third degree silicone so yep. So you want to clear off with a makeup wipe and then before you apply the glue you want to go in with 99% alcohol just to make sure that all of the oils are taken off. Now I'm applying Prosaid to the bite areas. Waiting a couple minutes sticking them down. I'm doing a double adhesion so I put Prosaid on both the skin and the prosthetic to ensure that it's gonna stay. Now I'm dotting a little bit more prosade around to kind of mimic skin texture and try to blend the edges. After that's done, I'm setting it with powder and then going in with the Encore Palette by European Body Arts in 
N1 and C2 and trying to start to color correct the silicone. Um, as you can see, it's a little light. So I'm putting down a layer of alcohol activated makeup and then I'm going back in with my foundation and just lightly spreading that around to do as best as I can to blend things together. When I made this prosthetic, I didn't do my edges very well. So yeah, but that's okay because we can cover it up with blood later, which is what we're gonna do. But first, I'm gonna take the light blood tone from European Body Art and I'm gonna put a slight layer in the centers of the vampire bites and then start to feather them out as if it's like inflamed. And then I'm gonna go in with a deeper red tone and start to build that up and up and up. And I'm gonna tap away the center just to give an effect that the um, inside surroundings are darker and so there's more depth to it. I'm doing the same thing with the black ac alcohol activated makeup and then going back in and adding some more blood tone and black tone mixed on a q-tip and then smattering around. So using alcohol activated makeup is really a nice way to make sure that it's gonna last and it's not gonna go anywhere or hop on your clothes or anything. So yeah. There's the vampire bites done with alcohol activated makeup. Oh yes, look at that. It's like my pulse is beating, oh my gosh. Now for some scabby action, I'm taking Ben Nye's Fresh Scab Gel on a Q-tip and just putting that in the holes and dragging it down slightly to give it a little bit of glossy sheen, make it nice and gory. And now for the fun part, I'm taking the KD515 Productions Extra Dark Mouth Blood and swishing that around. This is mouth safe mouth blood, but it's not meant to be ingested. I mean, you're gonna ingest a little bit of it, but it's not a, you know, ingest all the things. It may be just me, but I think mouth blood adds a lot to a look. So yeah, this is the completed Mina Harker makeup tutorial. I see a lot of other Bram Stoker Dracula cosplay Halloween tutorials, but I don't see any Mina ones, so this is mine. If you recreate it, share it with me on Instagram or, you know, check the goodies in the info cards. I put all the details of products I use in the description box below, as well as on my blog at www.jchaos.com. I am so excited for the rest of the 13 days of Halloween. If you missed my Starry Witch makeup look, I will have a link in the description box below and a playlist and all the other good stuff. If you like this tutorial, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. It helps me out. Don't forget to comment. I'd like talking with you guys, but yeah. Know that I think you are awesome and I love you guys so, 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 so much. Bye! <laughs> Don't forget to stay positive and be awesome, because you, you're awesome. True story. Bye!